Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Analyst. Today we will speak about K nearest neighbors. K nearest neighbors is a non parametric supervised learning classifier which uses proximity to make classifications or predictions about the grouping of an individual data point. For classification problems, a class label is assigned on the basis of a majority vote. That is, the label that is most frequently represented around a given data point is used. That is why the value of k is mostly negative, is mostly odd. Now, let's go through our code. Alright? So, the first three lines of code is used to clear up the environment. As you can see, I have a lot of information in my, in my environment. So, let's clear it. As you can see, the environment is now empty. Now, I will use Pacman to load my packages. For the purpose of this video, KKNN is important. Now, if you want a detailed information about the package, you could basically use the documentation. Right? As you can see, KKNN is used for weighted K nearest neighbors classifier and you can read about the arguments and so on. So what exactly I'm doing is that I'm clearing the environment. I am using the credit card data set. I'm keeping the headers and I'm using the create data partition to basically partition my data. Now for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is that I will partition my data into training, validation and test data sets. Since this is a supervised machine learning algorithm, the validation data set is important. So what I do over here is that I read my credit card data and then using the create data partition, I create a partition of using 60% of the data. So if you look, when I read my data, I have 654 observations and my train data contains 393 observations. That is after running this step. Now the remaining data from the 60%, right? So I have my data over here. I use the create data partition all over again and use the remaining 40% as my validation data. So if you see, my validation data contains 105 observations. So this 393 plus 105 is 60% of the 654 observations that I had in my original data set. I'll also have a test data, data set. This test data set will contain 156 observations. Basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a list and then I'm going to make predictions as to whether how large or how many neighbors should I view before I come to a conclusion as to what my output should be. So I create a list over here and then I run a loop. After running the loop for different values, so k equal to 1 means that I looked at only one neighbor and then I get an 80% prediction, alright? Then I look at three neighbors and I get an even better prediction. This goes on, so I did it for right up to 50, alright? So I have around 25 records over here. Now let's see on what value of k did I get the best prediction. Right? From here I can see that when k is equal to 29, I have the best prediction. That is I get an 87% accuracy when k is equal to 9. So that means I look at 29 neighbors and then based on a majority vote, that is which neighbor 
so I take the majority of all the 29 neighbors and then I come to a conclusion so since we are using the credit card data set it means that either someone can default or someone will not default alright so if 29 of my neighbors from that if 16 that is the majority says that I will default so that means the point that is nearest to all of those 29 points will default so now using k equal to 29 I'll test it out on my k nearest neighbor algorithm and see how well it performs on the test data set so as you can see over here for k equal to 29 I get an 83.9% prediction accuracy on the test data set now that is lesser than your training data set but that's alright okay 83% is also good 